Hey, what's up everybody? Nexel here. Today we are playing Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, starting with video number two for my Lux tutorial. Um, I have a few things lined up as to what I want to talk about. There's like an hour left in the weekend, meaning that there's only like an hour left that I can keep spawning this raid boss. Uh, the first test that I wanted to show you guys is the difference with uh, using a Lux Plus skill and not using a Lux Plus skill. And I have three sort of videos I want to talk to you about. The first one is adding a Lux skill to your main attacker medal. So let's go ahead and hop into our raid boss here that we spawned. So to do this test, we're going to compare two different counterpoint setups. So the first counterpoint setup and the second one are pretty much exactly the same. Literally almost down to a T with the one difference being what skill is on that classic Donald. So in our non-Lux building setup, we have a classic Donald. Again, it's boosted. It's got the plus 1,000 strength. It's got the 97% guilt. It has attack boost to max and no traits on it. So that's our first classic Donald. In our Lux building setup, we're going to have a classic Donald. Again, it's boosted. It's got the 1,000 strength, 97 guilt, except this one's going to have attack boost to max Lux plus and again, no trait. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into this raid boss twice, once with the Lux building uh, setup and one without the Lux building setup. So right now we'll start with our Lux, without our Lux building setup, and then see if we can, you know, how much Lux we generate from a non-Lux build. So I know you guys saw it there, um, the skills are only at level 98. They're not, or I'm sorry, the, the proc rate for these skills are only 98 is only 98 uh, not 100% because I literally just slapped them on there just so I could show you guys uh, the difference and it didn't really matter um, to me in my opinion because 98% is still really high I threw some skill perks onto the onto the avatar in order to support um, you know the skills going off every single time so hopefully that 2% doesn't make a difference but I will be counting to make sure that the AB2 max goes off every single time and if it doesn't then the test is kind of flawed. I'll have to go back and redo the raid boss, but let's hope it doesn't. We are going to cross our fingers and hope that doesn't happen. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be the test. It's going to take a few turns to knock this thing out just because I don't have my optimal luck setup at all. Like normally I am going to, I bust through these guys. It takes me two turns to get through this one boss particularly because uh, they gave it so much health. Like in comparison to past raid bosses, this one got so much health. Or maybe it's because I'm not using a power setup. Who knows? Not really sure. Uh, but that's not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is to talk about building Lux. So as you saw there, both those attack boost 2 maxes went off, per, or one per turn, meaning that we're still good, we're still running good consistency. Again, the reason I use max skills is to make sure we have that consistency. We see the difference between using a Lux setup and a non-Lux setup with the Lux setup having, or with using the Lux on the attacker metal, the main attacker metal, which in our case right now is this classic Donald. So we are good on three, three of those attack boost two maxes. I believe that's all we need and we should be able to knock out this enemy with our, with our shared envy right now. Okay. So here's our first one. Here's our first setup. Let me pull up my notepad uh, so that I can take down the numbers. So the amount of Lux we generated is 3,022,666. Okay. Let me dock that down. All right, so let's move on into our Lux setup. I'll have to respawn the raid boss, but if anything, that just kind of helps my consistency by uh, showing you guys that I'm not, you know, I'm not cutting the stream. I'm going from one raid boss to the next. The only thing that could really help this even more than just showing you guys and, like, talking to you in real time is if I had, like, a clock in the back here. Um, but I don't really know how to set that up, so we're, we're just running with it right now. I'm just, again, here to show you that uh, having Lux Plus makes a significant difference when it comes to uh, raiding, when it comes to building Lux, helping your teammates get into that top 50. So let's keep pressing on. This should be enough to spawn the next raid boss, um, and that'll be in a different video, a video uh, titled, like, I don't know, raid boss speed spawning, something like that. But for now, we're focusing on Lux Plus. We're focusing on attack metals specifically with Lux Plus rather than, you know, just buffer metals or, you know, a whole setup with Lux Plus versus one without it. Okay, so we spawned our raid boss. So this time we're going to go in with our setup that has Lux Plus on it. 
So again, here's the classic Donald. It has Lux Plus on it. Same stats as the uh, same stats as the last one. So as long as Lux Plus activates every single time, then we're good. You know the test is going to be proven okay, and then that'll that'll show you what the main difference is between having a medal with Lux Plus and having a medal without it. There's just oh my gosh, there's just so much to talk about with rating. Uh, I'm gonna try and fill these empty spots with commentary for the time being. But, uh, I, I kind of just still want the focus to be about rating. Okay, so we got the first one. The first one procced out. So we're good. Uh, we're gonna keep just pounding it with the rest of our medals. The, the purpose of the rest of the medals was really to, uh, you know, stun the limbs was the point of key R13. And then the rest of it's just strictly for damage dealing. Because the faster we deal damage, uh, the faster we go through the videos. And, you know, the more concise the test is. Because I know we're sitting at like five minutes right now five six minutes actually uh, so let's go ahead and hope that we can end this soon i believe we're going to need one more turn in order to complete this test here okay so we're good we are two for two in terms of turns that uh lux has lux plus has activated which is good we're really just biding time now until uh the next one to see if lux plus goes off again but again, it, it helps. It helps with consistency, showing you that I'm not making any cuts, that I'm not, like, cheating anyhow, uh, that I'm just going, you know, from one raid boss to the next, just to show you Lux building. This should be the turn that finishes it off, though, because that it only took three turns with the uh, last one. Okay. So we have three for three. We're three for three in terms of Lux activations, which is good, which means our test is going to be consistent, uh, we have consistency because AB2 max proc'd on the last one, AB2 max proc'd on this one. So this is going to be good consistency and this is going to be good testing. So remember in our non-lux setup, we got 3,022,666 with our lux setup. And again, this is just one metal that had it. We instantly boost that up to 3,906,000, 3, 3,906,509. So that's already a difference of almost 1 million Lux. I can only imagine that it goes up in terms of damage because we used a tier 3 rather than like a tier 4, tier 5, tier 6. Uh, mainly because using Classic Donald was the only sort of... It's the only way I could have met the same conditions between two medals. Because there's no way I have like a dual copy of Guilted Tier 6s or something like that. Uh, so that's the first test. Again, this is uh, Lux building using a Lux Plus skill on your attacker medal. Uh, so that's going to be the first video in this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to throw them in the comments sections below. The next video I will be doing is going to be a comparison of how does it differ when you're using Lux building on a buffer metal, which is going to be naturally earlier on in your rotation and is more likely than not supposed to hit a bunch of different enemies. Uh, but with that being said, this video is over, so we have a plus one million almost in terms of boost using just the Lux Plus on one metal. Just one metal. So that's it for this video. Until the next time, everyone, take it easy.